Tell me, uh, for you, how, how tough has this been? I mean, it's, it's been a while since you've been out here. It's been a roller coaster ride. Uh, you know, from since I've been here to now that I'm getting ready to, you know, uh, basically have my last year. I mean, they've been ups and downs, and, you know, last year and the start of this year has been a huge down for me. But, you know, once you got a coach like Coach on your side, they will, you know, basically just walk you through it and uh, make sure that everything's going to be all right. Makes it seem like there's no worry in the world. Is there still a mental hurdle to get over with the injury? You think? Are you are you past that? Oh, definitely. I mean, uh, with every athlete, once you get injured, and you feel like you can't or you haven't done what you love to do for a very long time, it kind of messes with you for a little bit. But uh, you know, it's just a little thing that uh, I'm gonna have to get over. You know, to help the team. Coach has been doing a great job of just you know taking his time with me, and just being patient. And, supporting me through it and uh, right now I'm just excited to get back into it. How ready are some of these young guys, Dang, Donovan, to fill the void? Because it's a pretty big void from Trey and Damian. And... Uh, I mean, if you think about it, they showed it. They showed a little glimpse of it uh, throughout that season. And uh, I mean, even though like now it's okay, it's y'all, it's y'all turn. But I mean, they've done a great job. They're a bunch of uh, hardworking kids, humble guys. And, uh, with them, I think it's going to be a problem. It's just a challenge that they got to, you know, overcome. What's the timetable for you to get back out and be playing for full, full uh, Well, Coach going to be starting things, doing things probably next week. So right now it's just about me not doing it, you know, saying, okay, I'm all right, let me just go in early. So, uh, but the trainer is doing a great job, and uh, he's just holding me back and saying, okay, we're going to take our time. And he's just feeding me of joy of letting me do some things that I could really do at first just to keep me back. But, uh, you know, I'm excited and I feel like I'm ready. When you mentioned, <coughs> you mentioned missing out on time and it kind of messing with your head mentally, Patino mentioned that in his press conference a few minutes ago. Do you have an example of that messing with your mind, like something that sticks out? I mean, uh, it's just the little things, uh, you know, just running and then out of nowhere, you see the ball going the other way, and then you just like basically, okay, just planning and just going, you know, uh, just by instincts. Uh, it's just going to be one of those things that my mind's going to hold me back. Like, are you sure you can do that? But uh, through repetition and through me just, you know, basically being back and knowing that everything's going to be all right, I should be good. You may have answered this. How far back are you from that to feeling confident that if you plant or move in some way, you're not going to re injure yourself? I mean, this. Uh, Every day I see myself doing something that I didn't think I could do at first. And, you know, my trainer always points it out and say, you know, you did this without a problem, right? And I'm like, oh, I didn't notice it. So, uh, you know, by reputation, like I said earlier, I'm just going to, you know, grasp through it. And my teammates, I just always, you know, have my background.